Hey kings and queens, welcome back to my channel. As always, if you are new, thank you for coming and visiting my channel. And yeah, let's, without further ado, let's get into this video. I'm happy because my edges were popping, they were laid. All right, really quickly, I do want to mention that if you do know how to do Bantu knots, I do have a video on how I do them, and I will leave that in the description box. Anyway, so I'm starting off by just simply taking out my bobby pins because your girl is a really, really heavy sleeper, and I just am so wild, so I need the bobby pins to stay in there for this style to actually work. <laughs> All right, so all the bobby pins are pretty much out and I'm just gonna begin to unravel my Bantu knots. Now, I showed my hands because I do not use any oils, any product to weigh down my hair to take out these Bantu knots. So, as you can see, I'm just unraveling them. Just It just uncoils by just twisting them. Shake, 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 shake. <laughs> Sorry, I love shaking my hair when they're all out. But we're going to begin by now separating the Bantu knots. Now, this is where it can go from literally 0 to 100 real quick. You have to be very, very careful with this. I don't know if you can see, but what I do is I pull my finger up from the root to the middle part of my head. I mean, of the strand of the Bantu knot. Um, and then I separate it and then I will coil it again just to make sure that it's not a frizzy end, but it's a coiled end just to help ensure that. I know it takes a lot of practice sometimes. It just... You just got to keep, it's one of them trial and error hairstyles. So if you don't get it right the first time, it's always the next time. I never used to get it right always the first time. So it's just all about the technique you try and use because you can, I know y'all can see how some of them are a little frizzy, but it don't, I mean, what comes with natural hair sometimes has to be frizzy. So it doesn't mind. You have to be very, very careful with this. I don't know if you can see, but what I do is I pull my finger up from the root to the middle part of my head. I mean, of the strand of the Bantu knot. Um, and then I separate it, and then I will coil it again just to make sure that it's not a frizzy end, but it's a coiled end, just to help ensure that. I know it takes a lot of practice sometimes, it just, you just got to keep, it's one of them trial and error hairstyles. So if you don't get it right the first time, it's always the next time. I never used to get it right always the first time. So it's just all about the technique you try and use because you can, I know y'all can see how some of them are a little frizzy, but it don't, I mean, what comes with natural hair sometimes has to be frizzy. So it doesn't mind. It doesn't matter to me, really. It doesn't bother me if it comes out a little bit frizzy. So. Do in space. 
careful to not go completely through don't comb through your hair completely because then you'll just defeat the purpose of having the curls in the first place you're just trying to get that full look by teasing your roots so I'm just gonna continuously go around the perimeter of my head and in the middle and I'll turn around and show you guys what that's gonna look like and yeah You have to be very, very careful with this. I don't know if you... So I'm just still fluffing out my hair because I'm extra, I'm extra extra and I like my hair to be really, really big. If you like me and you like your hair to be big, then this is the video for you because yeah, I like that extra full, what Erica Badu, um, you know, I just like that afro curled look. So at this point now is where I like to pull out all the defined curls and this could be a style for you guys like if you want to stop right here and you know have your hair just you know like this perfectly fine I do this all the time but today I wanted to kind of go into my updo style but this is cute like girl rock your little afro yes you look gorgeous <laughs> So today I was doing the more sporty thing. So if you're trying to do that updo, the, which is the AKA pineapple hairstyle, then this is for you. So I just had the um, string, of course, is what you're going to need or any hair tie that you use, a headband, it doesn't matter. I use the olive oil eco styling gel and just a soft bristle brush to get them edges nice and up there because we don't do no BDBs around here. I'm not going to have you walking around with BDVs, you guys. <laughs> so, yeah, I'm just going to take that string to the nape of my neck in the back, as I'm showing you guys, and then behind my ears. And then wrap it around my forehead. Not, I'm not trying to mess up these edges, so I'm just trying to go behind the edges. <laughs> and then I'm just going to be pulling it upward. Not, don't, d now y'all, don't cut off your blood flow and your circulations. I don't, I don't want y'all to be passing out on me because I used to do that to where it was like real, real tight. And yeah, don't do that. Please don't do that. So I do it kind of loose and then I'm just going to bobby pin the ends of the string that are left out into my hair. So me being extra again, I love full, nice, big hair. So I'm teasing the puff as well. So yeah, I just like to hit hit it like exactly how you do would do the afro puff. Just um, hit your roots and don't comb all the way through. And yeah, just continue to fluff it out because I'm, I'm gonna be doing this for a while, you guys. I just I love big hair. It's just my thing. 
Because people always ask me, oh yeah, so much hair? I do. Yeah, I really do. I have a lot of hair. It's just that I like to make it real big, like an illusion. And so at this point, I am doing the same thing I did like when I had my afro. I'm just making more of the defined curls fall to the front. Um, I <laughs> Let me tell y'all a funny story. I used to, when my hair was longer, because I that was before I cut off all of my damage. So right now, this is all healthy hair at this point. But I used to take my long curls and like cover my forehead with it. So I looked like I had a straight up toupee on my head. Like it would just picture my curls dangling like touching my eyebrow like I literally had a toupee of curls in the front of my head it looks so stupid but I thought it was so cute <laughs> but yeah don't don't be toupeeing it just 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 have the curls sitting on top of you know your hairline just a little bit just a little bit Right now, I'm just pretty much like touching my hair for no apparent reason. Like, I don't even know why I'm touching my hair. I'm just a perfectionist at heart. So I like when everything looks all uniform. But yeah, that's basically it, guys. When it comes to when I do my pineapple, just I like to have them curls popping in the front. So yeah. I'm so happy you guys came to and clicked on this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. And follow me on all my social medias. And don't be afraid to, you know, let me know what you guys want to see next. And I love you guys. See you in the next video. Bye.